Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kiki, Rising Queen. Exciting news, I'm headed to Ghana. I'm so excited. I've been getting a lot of messages from tons of individuals asking about the requirements and things like that in terms of a visa. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through all those steps, so stay tuned with me. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Full disclaimer, the steps and requirements I'm gonna discuss in this video is my personal experience. I'm traveling from Toronto, Canada, so my experience might be different from your experience, okay? All right, so let's get into it. You're gonna wanna make sure you have a valid passport. Your passport needs to be valid for at least six months from the date of travel, okay? Second thing, to travel to Ghana and from Canada and most countries, you're required to have a yellow fever vaccine. Okay, so number one, you're required to have a yellow fever vaccination to enter Ghana. In order to get the yellow fever vaccination, you'll have to visit a travel clinic. During your visit, the doctor or nurse may suggest other vaccines that are not mandatory. All that's required is a yellow fever vaccination to enter Ghana. Okay, guys, so this is number two. You're going to want to go to your consulate website. For me, it's the Ghana High Commissions Canada. Okay, this is where we're going to submit the application online. So right here, as you can see, it says click here for passport and visa application. Click there. All right. So we're going to want to scroll down. It shows here visa application, passport application, or FAQs. I'm going to select visa application. Again, then it brings you to your language preference and your country of residence. So I'll just fill this in here. All right. And we're going to want to continue. Okay, again, another list going over requirements, inclusions, fees, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to accept the terms and continue. Okay. You have different options here on this next page that shows individual visa application. You can retrieve an individual visa application, group organization visa application, family group visa application or change appointment. We're gonna select individual visa application. Okay. And then it brings us to step one, purpose of travel. I'll just select business. You have different options. You have business, crew, diplomats, families, etc. Let's just click business travel. It's gonna then ask for your passport type. You're gonna to wanna to select ordinary. Country of residence, nationality. Here, it's in here. Okay. Nationality at birth. I'm going to hit Canada for both. Okay. Visa type. So here you're going to want to select your selected visa type. For this example, I'm going to select the three month. You have three months, six months and a multiple entry one year. Let's select the three months. Other nationality, it's not applicable. We're only gonna fill out the required information with the asterisk. That's all that's required. Processing location, we'll select Toronto. Service type, standard service. Mode of submission, postal service. Okay personal information. Number three, contact your local Ghanaian consulate to find out how much the fees are to get your Ghanaian visa. In my case, I was charged $100 for a three-month multiple entry visa. Number four, the mailing process. You're required to send two cardboard envelopes with tracking going to the consulate and prepaid tracking to come back from the consulate. You're going to want to make sure those cardboard envelopes are big enough to hold the documents that the council is going to request from you. Number five, the items that are going to be sent in the cardboard envelope to the council. 
you must submit your passport, your physical passport, your yellow fever vaccination, two passport size photos, and your bank draft. Even though the passport size photos are a requirement, I was able to just take a photo of myself against a white background and upload it with my online application. Number six, the express mail process. It's super important to remember with the cardboard envelopes that have the tracking going to the counselor and coming back from the counselor, you're going to want to take a photo of both tracking numbers so you can keep track of your package. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share, and I'll see you in the next one.